Hello? I guess, um, you're a little busy. That's okay. It, it's me. I, um, I know you might be a little shocked to get a phone call from me. You know, ever since <laughs> the police bust in and, well, took you from me. And I was put in jail. <laughs> They said something about witness protection. I'm not sure what that meant, but, um, they must have done a really good job because, you know, I managed to find your number really quickly. <laughs> anyway, um, when I was at court, my, uh, lawyer pleaded insanity. He said it was the best option, which I think is absolutely crazy, you know. I'm not insane or anything, but it's probably better than prison, and they said I'd kidnap you <laughs> and kill ten people and assaulted a lot more. That's kind of, kind of crazy to think about how people view the world. Uh, when they got here, it was very different. All the walls are kind of padded and everyone speaks in really soft voices and there's a lot of white everywhere and they kind of raided my house and took all the sharp objects but they kind of forgot when they gave me my lunch and I stole a butter knife and I'm hiding it in my straight jacket. <laughs> so if everything goes to plan I won't be in here much longer. <laughs> This place is really confined, and everyone here is, mm, well, they're not the best, <laughs> but I, I thought since it's a very special day, Valentine's, a day of love, I'd call you and say, happy Valentine's, I love you, <laughs> and we'll be together soon, mm, I promise. It's kind of sad being here without you, I gotta admit, <laughs> I miss you all the time, and um, when we were in painting class, because they do extra activities to keep us busy, I painted um, a portrait of you, I painted about, I think, 12, they said I was very creative, but maybe that I was putting my effort in the wrong area, which is just nuts, <laughs> don't you think? Anyway, <laughs> I just thought I'd let you know that I really appreciate you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the straight jacket makes things kind of difficult. Because mm -hmm. <sighs> I have a lot of dreams about cuddling you and holding you to me, but my arms are all tied up, so it's kind of hard. <sighs> But that's okay. That's okay. It's no problem, I promise. <laughs> and I've been really good, which is why I'm allowed this phone call. Well, I say allowed. It's kind of a funny story, really. One of the guards, they were walking past my cell. <laughs> and I am. Um, well, I kind of grabbed their tie and pulled them against the bars about 10 times until their heads started bleeding and they collapsed and they had a cell phone in their pocket. Mm -hmm. So that's how I'm calling you. It's really considerate of them to bring it to me. Now I just need a way to ship you my Valentine's gift. I really think you'll like it. And lots of pictures for you. Mm -hmm. You know, so... There was another incident where one of the other people in the prison, sorry, asylum, <laughs> well, they said that you didn't really love me, and that I was a psychopathic, <laughs> insane person, <laughs> and that you'd never love me. So I stabbed him about ten times in the chest, 
and that got me a, a while in solitary confinement. But I heard that he's okay. He he can't speak anymore, but he's okay. <laughs> you know, I had a dream that we were walking on the beach together, hand in hand, and we were swim in the water. I really miss the water being by the ocean. Here everything's kind of same-ish. You know what I mean? The walls are padded, which is nice, because they kind of remind me of you. They're all soft and cuddly. <laughs> But they also said that they might have to move me to a room which has nothing in it because they initially gave me a room with uh, some amenities like a TV and stuff but I kind of um, used everything as a weapon. <laughs> it's silly. But ever since they gave me these strange I've kind of done that a lot less, but um, I forgot to take my medicine this week, and then I remembered that I shouldn't be taking it at all, because I'm not crazy, so I've been hiding it in my pillowcase. <laughs> I don't think they've suspected. <laughs> it's really nice to be able to talk about all this to someone. I don't like keeping secrets, but... <laughs> You know how it is. Hmm. Ah, oh, well. I don't think that it's going to be a problem much longer. Because as I said, I have a plan for getting out. You're really going to, you're really going to think I'm so smart. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm really sick. And then when they take me to the infirmary, because I know that that's much less protective. I'm just going to break my way out from there. Mm. And I'll come see you. It'll be really nice. <laughs> mm. So, anyway. Um, apart from that, things around here are okay. <laughs> mm. Obviously, there's some... Big differences from here in the outside world with you. Mm. The smell is all wrong. It kind of smells all sterile, like a hospital. Mm. I really liked your smell, and I miss it a lot. But that's okay. I um, I've been trying to mimic it, because I know you. They keep telling me that everyone gets the same treatment and they can't make special exceptions for me. But I can tell they're kind of weaning on that ever since I started um, attacking them constantly. So who knows? Maybe things will change soon. You can't look at the phone, but I smuggled in some Pocky. It's banana chocolate flavor, which is my favorite, but it's really the only one I could find. And it's pretty good. Mm. I know they said they put you in witness protection, but I don't think that your new house will be nearly as nice as the one I've got planned for us. It's very isolated. So I'm going to have to come and pick you up and take you there myself. You're going to love it. It's really surrounded by nature, so we won't be interrupted by anyone ever again. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh, mm. Just thinking about all the wonderful things that we'll get up to. 
like nature walks and hunting for pine cones and all that, and maybe burying a couple of people who got too close to you. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. And we can do romantic stuff for Valentine's Days, like um, lighting candles and stuff. <laughs> No lemonade candles, because those are too expensive and they come in dumb cups. I was thinking of all the different flavors of candles that there are, and it's really interesting if you actually think about it, like sandalwood and rose and all those. It's kind of crazy. Mm. I thought about eating candles a lot in here. I don't know what that means, but it's something to think about. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of sad being in here without you around because I don't have anyone to talk to and I really like talking so I tried with the other inmates but they're just, they don't understand so many of them call me crazy and a murderer can you believe that? I mean you're in here too, so you can't be doing very well. <laughs> so, yeah. I really hope that I can get out of here soon. It's like a bird in a cage. It's not normal. It's not right. <laughs> oh, I just had a terrible thought. I know that you love me. I just kind of want to make sure that you don't get tricked by someone, some evil person, into loving them while I'm away. Someone else coming to you and telling you all these lies that they love you more than me. You can't let that happen, sweetie. <laughs> No, because if you did that, you know that I'd find out, no matter what. <sighs> but that's okay, that's okay. I know you wouldn't be stupid enough to do that. Because you love me and I love you oh so much. <laughs> when I get out of here, I'll be able to protect you again. <laughs> It'll be so nice. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> I'll protect you from everyone who wants to hurt you. Every single person. Because I love you. <laughs> oh no. I think I... I think... The carers are coming. They'll probably be in here soon to ask some questions about the god bleeding from the head. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not really good. So, I might have to go, sweetie, but know that I love you a whole bunch. And when I get back, I'll bring a whole bunch of boggy and all that good stuff. So, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, that wasn't me, he just fell over. Wait, wait, hey, guys, I... Artwork for this video was by Deleted Phase. Thank you very much.